Now then, here we are, me and the mutt, starting our adventure today on the summit of Hart Crag. And what a fantastic day it is. It is just one of those days in the mountains that you will always remember. The sun is out, we've got blue sky, and yes, there's quite a bit of breeze coming through, but it is nothing that we cannot handle in all the right gear. So from here, we are gonna head on to Fairfield and then drop on to St. Sunday Crag, where we're gonna hopefully find somewhere to pitch a tent and just keep this lovely feeling of being in the mountains alive for a little bit longer. What do you say, Blue? Ready to go? Come on then, let's get on with it. Day. It is breezy though, so it's hard finding somewhere just to get out of the wind. Oh, quick snack and a drink. I've got one of these uh, Science in Spot Go Energy bars again, and this is an orange one. So a taste. what I need, a little bit of energy. Pretty much frozen that. Can just get a little bit of water out of it still. What a cracking day though, absolutely cracking day.
way. Just incredible. Now that is a nice place to pitch a tent. Look at that. That is beautiful. All these views, we've got the Hellbelling Range in the background there, Striding Edge, and then this is St Sunday Crag, but what a place to pitch a tent that would be. Now we're coming back. Here. Currently in the summit shelter on the summit of Fairfield. And what a place to be! It is barren on the top of here. There's nowhere to pitch a tent. I've been up here a few times and it is just rock. So from here, I'm gonna to have to make a decision on what I'm gonna do. That, that wind though is just relentless non stop and it is taking its toll. I am getting tired now, but I can basically head back down to that place I just sort of found, which looked absolutely fantastic. What a view for the morning that would be. Or I can continue down on St Sunday Crag, but as I've sort of been walking up, I've been looking at St Sunday Crag, and because it's very exposed, a lot of the snow has blown off, which means that it is gonna be very windy up there. So I'll just have to chill out here a minute and make a decision on what I want to do. Ah, oh, what a day though. Just incredible. Sunshine, mountains, snow. Yeah, That's not, you can't really get much better, can you really? You really can't. Oh, right, sit back and just take it all in. just been moseying around on this top plateau looking around at all the different mountains and wondering which direction to head in and I think I'm going to do as my original plan and drop down towards St Sunday Crag because I do know there is an absolutely perfect place to pitch a tent there it's very windy at the minute so anywhere it's going to be pretty exposed but I'm going to uh, head for somewhere that I know is safe and then from that point if I find somewhere else then great if not at least I've got somewhere just to lay this lug for the evening anyway let's get this backpack back on and start heading off from the summit of Fairfield down all this rocky section and it is windy so just having to take extra care you can see the speed of the clouds flying past
oh wow that is just nice just to be on this leeward side of this little rock face because that wind oh man it is just blasting me uh, anyway i'm going to continue down all the way down there and i'm hoping to camp just on that plateau there I've camped there before and it's a pretty cool place you get lovely views all the way down the valley there I've just descended down this rocky section here and I'm still on the sort of side of the mountain which is out of the wind but the wind is taking the snow from that side blowing it up over the top and then dumping it down in this valley bottom here so it's it is just one of those days want to be very careful luckily it's very powdery so it's actually sort of fairly grippy still the snow it's not like it's that wet snow that just slips all over anyway i'm just taking a moment to gather my thoughts make sure that i'm doing the right thing by camping down where i want to camp and that is just down here on this bottom section there's a couple of little flat bits i can pitch a tent the sun is just creeping round as well, so hopefully it's going to strike the tent where I pitch. But we won't know what it's like until we get down there, so it might be pretty exposed. It'd be nice to camp somewhere out of the way like this, but obviously there's nowhere to pitch a tent. Anyway, dog's waiting for me. Let's get down there. I'll bang this hood back up. Because having this windproof jacket is an absolute godsend up here. I would be freezing cold without it. I've just come down all that scramble section there and we're now on a couple of flat sort of areas where potentially I can pitch a tent. The place I was going to go is just up there but it is just a, like a wind tunnel. It's unbelievable how much wind is coming through. So I've just sort of come round to the back side of that and uh, there's a little flat plateau here. The dog has fallen asleep it looks like. <laughs> anyway, this potentially can be it for the evening. I mean, the views are going to be fantastic. We're more out of the wind here anyway, so it will be a bit more safer in that regard. But we are on the edge of a cliff as well. But look at the landscape, you know, you're really amongst it all. So, yeah, let's flatten this down and see if we can get this tent pitched here. <laughs> Just awesome, absolutely awesome. she's up that was a fight it took some effort to get that in because every so often there's like some gusts that come through which literally just flatten the tent so I have got to be a bit careful I have double pegged where I can I've got some of the Delta ground anchors in where I need them most and I've piled a little bit of snow up along that side just stop any sort of snow blowing in and bothering us through the night but I've got to be careful because this is my door here one meter out and then I'm falling down there so I definitely need to take care and if it's really windy I don't want to be sort of standing up as soon as I get out of the tent I'll just have to crawl away I think just to make sure that I'm safe <laughs> I don't want to be falling down there 
Anyway, currently in this sort of area, it's actually not too bad. But if I just take you up onto this top here, it's literally 10, 15 meters away. Well, just while it's quiet, I will say that I am in, or we are in, but Blue next to me here, who is just falling asleep, bless him. <laughs> oh, he's a good lad. And I have got my down bottoms on, my down jacket, and I've even got my rab down mittens here. So I'll bang one of these on and just show you, but they're great because they're quite a wide cuff so they cover your jacket and then obviously you can just cinch it up and that is it, it is on they're like oven mitts really I'll get this one on too and there we are totally toasty warm I'm getting a bit hungry though because I've just had a couple of snacks today I've not really had a proper lunch so I'm going to have a snack again I think I will call it and that is my most favorite comfort food and it is some chicken noodles so i'm gonna get the chicken noodles on have that won't fill me up too much and then i've still got space left for a proper dinner in a few hours time it can be quite an effort sometimes when you're in a tent just to get yourself sort of organized i've uh, broken the string line that comes across here you can see it's just sort of tied up on this sort of side and what happened was the dog jumped in and um threw himself quite hard against that side and because it was quite taut at the time it's just uh, pulled out the few stitches that were holding it together there luckily it is um, just on the inner so I'll be able to stitch that up myself so I'll sort that out but I nipped out and I've grabbed myself some snow I have punched it hard into here because if you've ever melted any snow before it literally disintegrates into nothing so you've got to pack it as much as you can and you might have to add a bit more to it too but i'm hoping there's going to be enough in there just to sort me out anyway stove's ready to go i'm just going to get this lit The water is getting there, it does take a hell of a long time to boil the snow and it takes a lot of gas as well, so just something to be aware of. So I need to make sure that I've got enough gas as well just to make a cup of tea later on. These are the noodles that I am having, if you've not tried them before, definitely go get some because they are absolutely gorgeous. Just a great little snack to have, proper comfort food and when you're out on a mountain like this it is something that will definitely make you feel warmer. wind is piling through here now. Ah! All I want to do is eat my noodles. Jeez. those gusts are wild just lasted about a minute of absolute batter in this tent and then uh, it just died down again one thing I was very protective of was my pot of water though with my noodles in so I put my fingers on the top just to hold it flat down so it wouldn't spill because it definitely would have potential to blow over Right, let's try some of this. <sighs> mm. Yummy, that is just exactly what you need on a mountain. I'm gonna start bringing these a bit more, I think. 
and it's great because I can just warm my hands up on the pot as well. But once I'm finished with this, I'm going to um, go pack it full of snow again and I'm going to uh, just melt a load more. I'm not going to boil it, I'm just going to melt it enough for the dog to drink. Because today he has um, had water from one water source. I smashed through some ice and found some water for him. Uh, but he's not actually drunk that much today, so I'm going to make sure that he gets a really good glugging of uh, water. Ah, Got to look after my boy, don't I? Because he is really what you are all here to see. <laughs> Calm down, calm down, please. <laughs> That's all I want, just a nice easy night where I can just chill out and just enjoy it all. Oh dear. I'm often tested in life, but you just gotta keep smiling all the way through it. <laughs> it is turning out to be a tough night. This weather just keeps coming through and battering the tent. And I was not expecting this at all. It said 30 mile an hour winds. I found myself a place which is a little bit sheltered, but the gusts, when they come through, they are well above 30 mile an hour. I couldn't tell you exactly what they are, but I mean, it's almost flattening this tent at times. So anyway, time for some dinner. We have got spicy sausage pasta. And I've just got a little bit extra pasta just to add into that as well. I've fed the dog, just fed him off my lap here because I can't trust this wind just to sort of set him outside and sort of do it out there. So um, I've just fed him off my lap and wiped up and we're all clean. <laughs> He's pretty good when it comes to food. He's not like um, a guzzler. He just takes his time and just eats pretty well. Anyway, let's get um, a pan and shove this in a pan and get it heated up. So there we go. Spicy, what is it called? Spicy sausage pasta, a little bit of extra soft pasta with it. And then I we'll just need a sprinkle of snow which will just add a little bit of moisture into that just help that pasta cook a little bit better that'll do it so now I need to find my lighter there we are get the gas on light her up oh she won't light She won't light. <laughs> yeah, just shit myself then. I thought that uh, the gas wasn't going to light and that would have been a bit of a pain. I purposely brought food which is uh, wet food so I can actually eat it regardless. So at least I'd have still had a meal but it wouldn't have been as pleasurable as a nice hot meal. And it's better obviously taking wet food with you on a, an adventure like this because if you do get sort of stuck you're going to really struggle with the dehydrated meals um, if you can't light your uh, gas or your gas runs out or something like that lives. whoa and then one of those dehydrated meals I mean I guess you could add it to water but yeah what's next best thing you'd have to snort it or something <laughs> so definitely not the best scenario Anyway, we're lit, we're going, we're cooking, and I'm looking forward to this nice meal. Oh dear. 
I do wish this wind would politely piss off. Anyway, dinner is ready. It does look good as well. Ow, pop. Can you see that? Oops, you can see that. Don't be wasting it. Second rule. <laughs> right, let's have a taste. Proper big scoop. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Probably give that about a uh, Six out of ten. Mm. Yep, that'll do me. Bloody wind. at the um hang on I'll swallow not talk with my mouth full and all that I just um looked at the mountain weather and um for where I am here it has given sort of 30 mile an hour winds and in the morning 15 mile an hour but it's going to drop to pretty much zero tomorrow so at least it's not going to get it worse so let's hope not these gusts are definitely more than the 30 miles an hour when they come through, um, but in between, it's pretty much nothing. So <laughs> as long as you don't have a catastrophic failure of the tent material, I should be all right. I've survived worse. Well, while it's relatively calm, I'm going to get myself out, check all the guy lines make sure this tent is in a nice solid position initially when you pitch a tent it always feels pretty good but then you get a bit of air movement and the wind starts flapping it about pulling and stretching it will just sort of settle so and also the materials themselves these are outer materials they sell nylon once it takes on board a little bit of moisture that can stretch as well so you just always need to just go out and check before you get into bed and on any sort of really wild night I would set an alarm and make sure you get out in the middle of the night and double check as well so anyway uh, also I'm gonna go out and pack this full of snow so I've got some more water for a cup of tea the dog's happy he's had his food and a drink I've eaten I just need a cup of tea and I will be happy as well anyway let's get out while I still can
back in and it is time to hunker down for the night I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea I'm absolutely red hot now so this jacket's coming off and I'm gonna put it over the top of blue who is quite warm anyway but you know just overnight it's worth just making sure that he's nice and warm You've got to look after your dogs don't you eh? absolutely love mine not much else to report then really if anything major does happen in the night like I get blown off this cliff edge or I go sleepwalking in the night and falling off that cliff edge again then I will get the camera out and make sure I get some footage of it it will be pretty awesome though sliding down there in my bivvy bag it will be like sledging and I would be faster than Usain Bolt at 100 meters the only thing is I'll be doing 100 meters vertically down <laughs> so yeah definitely uh, not a place to be messing about and I am glad I've not had a beer tonight just for that reason as well anyway we will see the morning morning flowers and what morning it is honestly it was the wildest night until nine o'clock and it was literally like someone had clicked the switch to uh, turn the wind off and it has just been absolutely still ever since so I have slept very well the tent has done really well to hold up for the uh, conditions prior to that because it was pretty wild I've got to say but then look wake up to this what an amazing morning just pure stillness everywhere we had the sun that's sort of just trying to sort of bring itself up over the back of these mountains here and uh, if I turn you around you can see that the sun is just sort of striking all on here that strided edge up there onto Helvellyn uh, what is the dolly wagon pike and everything like that just beautiful absolutely beautiful oh yes I'm a lucky man definitely a lucky man to be up here enjoying this go on then
I've just been sat about for the last couple of hours just taking it all in it has honestly been incredible just sat on the snow in different locations taking in all the different views all around and just enjoying it all watching the world go by and today it is going slowly and I absolutely love it but the time has come and I am going to have to pack this tent away I've got the dog there just on guard duty as always he just does the same as I do just sort of sits back and just takes it all in looking at all the scenery and just spotting any movement whatsoever whether that be a bird or people or clouds or anything so anyway we have to get off this mountain so we're gonna drop the tent and then we are heading up onto the top of high street there uh high street oh my god get it right al saint sunday crag so um high street's over there somewhere <laughs> all packed up leave no trace as always and i've been here for probably a good half hour or so chatting to a couple of subscribers paul and dave who are currently just heading up there you can just about see them two top blokes and we've had a good chat about all sorts of things so yeah nice to meet you guys anyway we need to get off and skedaddle up there Ah. That is deep snow. Oh dear me. <sighs> Well, here we are at the summit, and what a place to be. The views here are spectacular. It's definitely one of the best views in the Lake District, purely because you've got the green lowlands in the far distance there, and all the way around, as you come this way, it is just white mountains everywhere. Just incredible. What a day to be alive. And what an adventure, just getting out. A little bit wild in the weather side, I would say, last night. But we survived that. And then as soon as that wind dropped, it has just been <laughs> blissful. Just blissful, especially with this sunshine, which I can really feel the heat off now. So definitely get outside when you can. Fall into nature and just let it massage you in every single way. Because this is just what it's all about. This is living to me. This is what makes my heart beat to the extent that it does and honestly i just love it i absolutely love it and so does this bluey dog here hey <laughs> the drone's down here he won't take his eyes off it 
And can I just say a massive thank you to all you guys that have contributed in some way towards this channel, either through the Patreon or through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Without your contributions, I would not be able to do what I'm doing. I just would not be able to afford it. There is a hell of a lot that goes into this. All the camera gear, all the sort of gear that I need to get out to do it, you know, the fuel to get here. And um, I just love the fact that um, you guys are keeping me afloat and it's like a, a mutual thing that we've got going on. So a massive, massive thank you. So that's to you guys, but also give one of these for the video as well. Anyway, from me, and the beautiful blue we are going to see you another time this is just a cracking day and i'm going to sit here and just appreciate it for another hour or so take care guys